So I'm here with Devin of Dust Free, who's the engineer that designed the Dust Free 16 air filter system. Devin, thanks for joining me. Absolutely, thanks for coming. Um, this has been a lot of fun. Yeah, got to put one together and everything. <laughs> yeah, got to put one together, um, learn a little bit more about them. And I'd like to know, like, you, you kind of got this concept, John Ellis brought you this concept of a filter. Um, saw a need for it in the marketplace. And you guys decided to partner, partner together to make it. Talk about that process a little bit. What goes into something like this? What are some of the challenges you had to overcome to even bring this product to market? Yeah, absolutely. So um, not all MERV 16s on the market are alike, right? I mean, there's a ton of units out there with very high static pressure and, and that's not really, especially in today's day and age where we have SEER ratings that we need to contend with. Uh, we need to be very conscious uh, of what kind of static pressure we can really deal with, right? Mm -hmm. So that's one challenge to overcome as well as, hey, what is a MERV 16, right? So we look at, okay, we have 95% particulate removal across the board. So that's 0.3 microns all the way up to 10 microns. To give you an idea of really how small that is, um, a diameter of a human hair is about 100 microns, right? So I mean, we were talking very, very small particles. Um, most of these MERV 16s out there on the market, they'll just rate the actual filter itself, not the entire cabinet. So we wanted to, to take a you know, different approach to this and actually have a MERV 16 rated system. So our MERV 16 is the entire box assembled with filters in it rather than just the filter itself. So we try to take this to the next level. As far as the entire kind of development process, we're really looking at it like, okay, we need a, this is obviously a performance-based product, right? Um, it has the long filter lifespan, it has the super low static pressure. Um, also, you know, some of the other attributes, ships is a knockdown, right? Assemble this thing in a few minutes. Um, so really, I mean, this was a lot of trips to the testing lab, right? So it started off with, you know, kind of seeing what else is on the market and going, well, okay, there's some cool stuff over there. There's some stuff we don't really like over here. You know, how can we just make something that's 100% unique to, to dust free, right? So um, we did, you know, a lot of uh, CFD, so that's computational fluid dynamics, which is in a, a CAD software, right? So think about, it. we model this thing, make a computer model of it, and then are actually able to simulate air going through it. So that's where we started with on it um, to, to achieve these low static pressures. From there, uh, it was a search for the best media, right? So we say, okay, well, hey, there's thousands of variations of, of filter media on the market. Lots. What <laughs> attributes do we want, right? So there's, there's a, a lot of these very low resistance medias have a, um, they rely heavily on the electrostatic portion of, you know, uh, the media to, to remove it. Now, the problem is with these, you know, heavy electrostatic medias is they don't last for that long, right? Initially, yeah, they'll have phenomenal pressure, you know, phenomenal uh, static resistance, um, but you'll get uh, drop off in efficiency over time. Mm -hmm. So that's where we're kind of, you know, shopped around quite a bit, finally identified this media, um, took it to the testing lab and ran probably, I was up there probably seven or eight times uh, doing airflow testing on this as well as, you know, 52.2 testing. So is this your testing lab or is this a third party so testing lab? This is a lab? third party testing lab. Yeah, all okay. our stuff, we always want to say, hey, we're, we're not fudging the numbers here. <laughs> this is actually, you know, third party verified data, um, which is really our, our preference on all this stuff. Gotcha, gotcha. So, I mean, we talked a little bit and there's even, you know, a lot of the parts in this are custom made as well. So you guys had to like design a lot of these parts and pieces that, mm -hmm. and, and have them made specifically for this yep. uh, filter cabinet as well. I Absolutely. Mean, it, so, I mean, really, if you look at the entire chassis of this thing, everything's 100% custom, right? So we have uh, aluminum extrusions, and this is our you know custom profile on this thing, as well as these nylon corners. Um, that was also you know custom tooling just for us uh, to make this thing fit together, seal as well as house uh, you know, the, this filled V-Bank filter setup, right? Um, that means, hey, longer development time, but you have really high quality product at the end of it, which, you know, you can put a furnace on top of and not worry about it deforming or collapsing or anything like that, um, as well as, hey, how can we make this so a contractor can assemble this thing in the field and not have it be, you know, a real challenge? Because it, through every step of the distribution, um, with these things shipping in a compact format, um, it's going to reduce the end user cost, right? So uh, we don't need to ship this whole big box around. We can ship it in a flat pack 
we can, you know, save hundreds of dollars through transit. Well, that translates contractor to homeowner. That means, you know, contractors can, can get better prices. They can make more money on it. And even so, the homeowner doesn't have to pay as much at the end of the day, so. Yeah, and I mean, it, it goes together pretty fast. Obviously, John and I were kind of slow today because we're talking and having a little bit of fun. Yeah. Um, but, uh, and if you haven't watched the, uh, the video where John Ellis and I put this together, then you should go watch that. Uh, but, you know, this thing, you, you said you had put one together. Now, obviously, you know it pretty well, but right. you put one together in like three or four minutes yeah, at one point in time. Three and a half minutes from in the box to where you'd see it right now. So, um, obviously, use a use a electric screwdriver for this. Don't use an impact wrench. You will strip out the, the fittings on this thing, I promise. So, um, use a drill with the clutch, lowest uh, clutch setting on it, and you can put this thing together pretty dang quick. Um, there's a lot of like little features that we're looking at during the design process that we want to incorporate um, to make this super user friendly. So including the hanging kit with it. So, you know, all of a sudden you can have this thing hanging off the ceiling, um, including the flanges on there. That was another big one because, hey, you got to be able to hook up whatever the rest of the system is to this and not compromise your airflow, right? Um, the whole thing seals really well, so you're not really worried about leakage. Um, like I said, you do have a MERV 16 rating on the box assembled as it is. So, uh, you know, there's a there's few things we had to contend with to get it where it's at today. <laughs> that, that, does, that sounds like a challenge because filter bypass is a big deal. Um, and, and getting it tight enough to get that rating on the cabinet is, uh, is pretty impressive. Yeah. Um, where's everything made? Um, so majority of this stuff right in the U.S., right? Um, we had to, for, for this media, we had to go overseas. This is uh, from Europe, uh, the media. That's the only place we can find something that good. A lot of this stuff is, you know, in China or in other parts of the world, but we want to go with reputable manufacturers. And that's where you see this thing today is, you know, extrusions are in the U.S. Um, the corners are from the U.S. You know, obviously all the stuff, you know, any of the sheet metal pieces that are, are bent and assembled are right here in Royce City, Texas. So, but no, I mean, um, you know, even our air filters, those are those are pleated and, and uh, assembled right in the U.S. as well. So very nice. Very nice. Very cool. Yeah. So um, one of the things that's that's pretty unique with this box is we were talking about, you know, this MERV 16 concept, right? Mm -hmm. So how do you get that right so the minimum minimum efficiency rating value and so you're saying hey we're going to eliminate x percentage of particulate through one single pass of this you know cabinet right so our standard that we abide by is ASHRAE 52.2 um, and that's a very well known standard that uh, you know everyone should be familiar with if you're in the HVAC space so yeah so that's all 52.2 compliant then as far as the filter itself or the filter cabinet and everything? So, yeah, both of them. So both the filter itself and the filters in the cabinet um, are 52.2. Are so you'll get nice. a lot of people doing sketchy stuff where, hey, you know, if we put this filter in there, filter by itself, yeah, it might be, you know, a, a MERV 16. However, installed is a whole different story. You know, you might drop down from 95% efficient, which would be a MERV 16, down to you know eighty percent very quickly just with bypassing air. So mm -hmm. that was something we essentially completely eliminated on this, you know, with the gasket and filters and everything. So it's been a it's been a fun process. Very cool. Yeah. Um, anything else you think folks should know about this from from a design and engineering perspective? Yeah. Um, all all the components on here, we wanted to make this as user friendly as possible. This is all standard hardware on this thing, SAE hardware. Um, as far as construction of it, we're really looking for, we want this to last as long as or longer than the installed system. And so we're really focused on corrosion resistance, having good tolerances on stuff, uh, as well as just making it very user friendly to, to actually install. So those are probably the biggest points. Very cool. All right, folks, that's Devin from Dust Free. I'm Eric from True Tech Tools. Thanks for watching. Check out the Dust Free 16 online.